are you the sort of person that hated when you hear children whinging and complaining about this and about that oh, i don't like this i don't want that i don't want to go there i don't feel like it i don't want to eat this i don't want to eat that well i'm one of them i hate it when children complaining and whinging about stuff and you know what sometime in my own life in year 2007 i did that same thing to god i said to god god i hate my life i hate everything that happens to me why this and why that and blah 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 blah, blah. the list just goes on and on and little do I know that God also hated when children complaining, when children not appreciated things. And so in other words, I must break God's heart also. But here I am. In my own life, I hated when children did that. But here I am, complaining it to God. And you know what? Out of the blue, out of the blue, God visited me. God visited me, not Jesus, not Jesus. It was God visited me in a dream. He spoke to me from the clouds, from the thunder in a dream. As soon as he started to speak, oh my Lord, I was so scared to death. I was covered my head like this. I was covered like this. I couldn't, I couldn't bear to look at where the sound, the voice of God came from. He speak to me with power and authority, majesty and love. Just like on that first time I experienced him in that conference hearing the voice of God the first time. He was speaking like that. And there he questioned me and he said, he said, where were you when I lay the earth's foundation? Tell me if you understand. Who mark of its dimensions, surely you know. Who stretch a measuring line across it, on what were its footings set, or who laid its cornerstone, while the morning star sang together and all the angels shouted for joy, who shut up the sea behind doors when it burst forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment and wrapped it in thick darkness, when I fixed limit for it, and set its door bar and bars in place, when I said, This far you may come, and no further. Here is where your proud waves halt. Have you ever given orders to the morning, or shown the dawn its place, that it might take the earth by the ages, and shake the wicked out of it? The earth takes shape like clay under a seal. Its Features stand out like those of a garment. The wicked are denied it, denied their right, and their upraised arm are broken. Have you journeyed to the to the springs of the sea, or walked in the recesses of the deep? Have the gates of death been shown to you? Have you seen the, the gates of the shadow of death? Have you comprehend the vast expanse? of the earth tell me if you know all this god spoke to me from the storm in the dream he speak with power authority majesty and love oh my lord the bible version that i read from since year 2000 until now is an iv version the new international version. God know what Bible version I'm reading from. God know what Bible translation I'm reading from. As soon as God starts to speak to me in that dream, I just felt like, oh my Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I complained so much. I'm sorry that I complain about this and about that. I'm sorry, Father. You know? And then at the end of the dream, I wake up and then I realize that sounds so familiar. That sounds so familiar, the word that God spoke to me. The, the voice of God, the word that he spoke to me sounds so familiar. Why? Because during my first year 2000, after I believe in Jesus, I finished reading the whole Bible 
first time and then the second time I read I finished the, reading the whole Bible again the second time in that same year or the following year I can't remember exactly that one but I highlighted whatever important to me whatever that touched my heart whatever the rhema of God, word of God that spoke to me that have I have encountered that God opened my eyes to see and then here after I wake up from the dream I realized that that sounds so familiar. That sounds so familiar, those words. It's in the Bible somewhere. So I start digging it out. It's in Job. Job. It's in the book of Job, chapter 38, verse 4 to 18. Job 38, 4 to 18. This is what when the Lord spoke to Job. But God started to speak to me from verse 4. He said, Where were you? When I lay the earth's foundation, tell me if you understand, O oh my Lord. He spoke to Job 2,000 years ago, maybe. God only knows how long. And here he spoke to me the same thing. Start from verse 4. If he can speak to me the same thing, start from verse 4. He can speak to you the same thing, start from verse 4. I don't know if you get it. But God is amazing. He's a God of all knowing. Hallelujah. Just call upon his name wherever you are. And he will provide for you. He will meet your need. All you need is just that little, little, little faith. That little, little belief that your God will provide for you. Amen. Thank you for listening. Please stay safe and be blessed. Amen. God bless.